on RUTV's last broadcast of the year. All of our seniors have an opportunity to anchor. I'm Karma Sarni, anchor and scriptwriter. We're starting off with a twist on our favorite installment. And I'm Sophia Roberts, main anchor. Then we see a year in review. And we check in one last time with our principal. It all starts right now on RUTV. Good morning, Seahawks. Today is Friday, June 3rd, and I'm Hannah Gardner, Executive Editor for RUTV. And I'm Annalise Mathiason. If you didn't get the chance to pick up your yearbook on Tuesday, you can pick it up at the ASB Finance window during snack, lunch, or after school. You must have a photo ID to claim your book. We all know and love our Smarter Than a Freshman, but in honor of our graduating seniors, here's a special edition. Welcome back to another episode of Are You Smarter Than a Freshman? We got a beautiful... <laughs> Ah, move, Aiden. My spotlight. Are you smarter than a freshman? Senior edition. Last one of the year. Let's get it. Yeah. Are you smarter than a freshman? And I'm here with Jackson Schoenberg, Sophia Scott, Vanessa, Megan, Hannah, Aiden Henriquez, Sydney, Bella, Anthony Breedy, proud Redondo Union High School principal. We've got our classic guest back. It's nice to have you back, Kenny. Yes, sir. It's nice to be back. All right. So if you have five nickels and five dimes, how much change do you have? Seven, 80 cents. I don't know, 55 That is incorrect. We were looking for 75 cents. 75. <laughs> 75 cents. Five dimes is like 50 cents, so like that's like 75. That is correct, 75 cents. You have uh, 75 cents. <laughs> Less than 10 cents, I can tell you that much. Less than 10 cents? <laughs> maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Well, you have 10 pieces of change. I'll, you know, I'll give it to you, I'll give it to you. You do have 10 coins. Who wrote the novel The Great Gatsby? Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. Shakespeare? Um, Paula Dean. Who wrote the novel The Great Gatsby? Hmm. I want to say, oh, I know. Um, uh, is it Steinbeck? It is not Steinbeck. That uh, dude, Scott Fitzgerald, I think. That is correct! <laughs> what day do we graduate? June 9th. Oh, June 9th. June 9th? June 9th. June 9th. The first! What? What does the 26th Amendment do? Uh, oh, wow. Uh, um, um... Oh my god, You're poll tax. No. There's 26? I had no clue. There's more than 26. I thought there was only like 19. Yeah, I don't know. It sets the voting age to 18. Oh, I have no clue to be real. This is kind of embarrassing. I'm sorry, Mr. Henges. 18 year olds? 18 year olds can vote with the 26. That is correct. Voting age is 18. That is correct. Allows 18 year olds to vote. It stumps Mr. Breedy. There are four types of angles. Can you name them? There's only four? Well, I was like thinking camera angles. Uh, <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, an acute angle. Acute. 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 An obtuse angle. Obtuse. 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 A right angle. Right angle. Right and. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's, not that's all I got. Yeah, straight angle. That is correct. It is the straight oh! angle. You're one of the first persons to get that answer right, like full through. Uh, straight? It is the straight angle, that is correct. Oh, and lastly, um, do we have a 500s building on campus? Yes. No. Yes. That one, right there. Looking at it, it's right there. Yes. We do have a 500. Yes. No. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, we do have a 500s building on campus. No. You want to look to your left? And Around the corner? Yes, we do. <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. Do you know where it is? No. 
right behind you. I mean, it goes up to 800, so we have to have five, right? You, you don't skip a number. Yeah, we have a 500. We do have a 500, and interestingly, we don't have a 600. For our last time this year, it turns out that, sadly, our graduating class doesn't really seem to be smarter than a freshman still. But for the last time this year, I'm RJ Pollock. Back to you in the studio. Class of 2022, you never fail to amaze us, one way or another. I'm the script director, Eliza Peterson. Today is the last day for seniors to turn in your Chromebooks to the library and to pick up your CSF seals from room 706 if you qualify. For non-seniors, the last day to return books and Chromebooks to the library is June 8th. I'm Paris Johnson, one of our technical directors. As we bring this year to a close, let's see what two of our seniors were up to throughout their time here at RUTV. Welcome Seahawks. Or should I even call us Seahawks anymore? For us seniors, we're no longer really hawks. We've matured, grown, more like an eagle now. Yeah, sea eagles. <laughs> Today, Tyler and I are doing a clip show of all of our fondest memories here. Remember that time we went to Honda? How could I forget? What about that time we went to Honda? Oh yeah, dude, oh my, that was great. Don't forget that time we went to Honda. Which time? What about that time we snuck Paris into Joe's? Oh yeah, that was fun. Remember that time we went to Madrid to see the running the bulls and I had the camera facing the wrong way? Yeah. This is insane. Dude, it's doing a backflip. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you oh my god. Are you that? I'm getting it, I'm getting it. This is like the only time in history that this has ever happened. Why can I see myself? Remember when that kid asked us where the lobby was? Oh, yeah. Excuse me, where's the lobby? What's up? The lobby? You should ask uh, that guy. Yeah, he looks important. Yeah. Thanks. Did he enter through the lobby? Yeah, he, we just watched him come through the no, lobby. Yeah, yeah. Where are his parents? Remember that time we hit that dude with your truck and we just kept shut driving and we didn't call the doctor anything? He's kidding, this is a shut no, no, no. No, he's, he's not being shut No. Up. Dude, stop. No, this shut. happened. This no, happened. he's kidding. He was this driving. Is a joke. This is, shut up. On the, sh this, it was a kidding, crossword. Guys. It wasn't it, even nice. Sh on he's. Remember that time you got diagnosed with that thing? I, I don't know what you're talking about. You know that thing when the doctor. Here, take this. It should help with the hallucinations. What hallucinations? For schizophrenia. You were diagnosed. Wow, we really had a great year. I'm Tyler Champagne, anchor and editor. I'm Dryden Sarcona, also an anchor and editor. I know we said last week was the final sports segment. But we have one more to recap the sports highlight of this year. I'm Mina Gregory, editor. Although all the sports seasons have come to an end, we still have our co-ed flag football tournament tomorrow. I'm Anthony Sanchez, an editor. Just like our sports seasons are coming to a close, here's some closure from our principal, Mr. Brady. Well, hello, Anthony Breedy, your very proud principal. Uh, this is perhaps the last RUTV for the class of 2022. And so with that, I'm standing here on top of the Seahawk Bowl. And uh, this is the message, my message, for the class of 2022. Now on June 9th, if your parents, your grandparents, your guardians, those that you love with those five tickets are here on the home side, this is the vantage point that they will experience of your celebration. Now we have to give credit to all those who have supported you on your journey for a very long time, especially if you started in kindergarten here in Redondo Beach Unified School District. That gives you 13 years of educational experience supported not only by your parents, your guardians, your cousins, 
your brothers, your sisters, your coaches, your mentors, it goes on and on and on. But most importantly too, your teachers. So just think how much effort, how much energy, how much thought has been put for you to be successful here in the Redondo Union High School Seahawk Bowl. With that, not only do you deserve this class of 22, but your teachers deserve this celebration as well, along with all the community who have made you who you are as Seahawks. So with that being said, congratulations class of 2022. You've made it a few more days here and I'm very, very proud of your efforts. Before I go, this is a sentimental moment for me as well. You, class of 2022, are my first graduating class as principal, and I will forever remember this class. So thank you, make us proud, do what's right, be an excellent human being for here and ever after on June 9th at the close of your commencement ceremony you will become part of the long-standing tradition, 117 years of tradition, of our Seahawk community. I'm standing in your house, the alumni house. So when you come back and you visit Redondo Union High School, your memories, your experiences, and the things that you've done for the past four years will be housed here for you. And I hope that in the future, that you give back to the community that has given you so much until this point. I wish you well, Seahawks, into your future endeavors, wherever you may land, and please do your part of spreading our Seahawk pride to all those you come in contact with. With that, good luck and congratulations. Just remember, you represent 117 years of high school tradition coming from Redondo Union High School. Thank you. I'm RJ Pollock, another technical director. Thank you so much for that final message, Mr. Breedy. And I'm Travis Wilkins, an anchor. As a final message to RUHS Theater Arts, congratulations to all cast and crew for their success at J-Rays last weekend, especially Jasmine Guerrera and Katie Cloutier. And now we turn it over to our executives. And that concludes the final RUTV of the 2021-2022 school year, as well as me and Corey's final show. Thank you to the entire RUTV crew for making this year so special. This year we had a record-breaking number of shows, as well as, in my opinion, the most stellar news crew Redondo has seen thus far. It's been an honor to be this year's news director, as well as a member of RUTV for the past three years. Thank you, Sam and Mr. Shihei, for supporting me throughout these past four years working on the broadcast. It's been an honor working alongside this amazing crew as well. And although every year we have new people, this crew will always have a place in my heart. Thank you, Seahawks, for watching. I'm Corey Cumpson, executive producer, signing off. And I'm Kennedy French, signing off. Good luck with your future endeavors, seniors, as well as next year's crew. Have an amazing summer, and keep on soaring, Seahawks!
Wow. We ha <laughs> Editor and anchor, Champagne Tyler, I'm, you're great. I had him. They're saying you gotta move your mic or something? Yeah, I heard Mike. Is there a guy named Mike? They're arguing, hold on. Who's Mike? Things are good. Wait. Okay, that was good. We did it. We slayed. Slay. Slay the house. Let's see what two of our seniors were up to to throughout their time here at So close. <laughs> so close. Keep on soaring, Seahawks. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> <laughs> <Cry. laughs> As seniors, we've been on campus or we've been on campus for about two and a half years, but we have had four full years of classes, right? So that being the case, you've at least had six classes a year. So you must name 20 teachers in order to pass. Okay, I got this. You I can know, collectively I use your brain. Mr. Me. Lex, Miss <laughs> uh, Junior, no, uh, <laughs> Mr. RJ. Uh, I wish. Mr. Hinges. Alright, who wants Miss Bear, Miss Jones. Miss Ham. Miss Jones is goaded, by the way. Miss Buchanan. Miss Buki. Yeah, Miss Buchanan. Shout out Miss Buki. Miss Hernandez, Miss Fernandez. Seven. Mr. Frederick, I met his dad. Wait, what about what? teachers that retired? Is That's that fine. One? Senor Sanchez. Oh yeah. The Senora goat. Duran. Ten. Oh, yeah. Senora yeah. Gonzalez. Eleven. Yes. Miss uh, Vasquez. Miss Vasquez, yeah. Uh 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 Mr. Lewis. Mr. Thirteen. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Prinky. 14. Miss Hunter. Miss John. 16. Mr. Four Lee. more. 17. Mr. Van. 18. Uh, Mr. Sheehey. Mr. Sheehey. Let's go! Hey. 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 Great show. Great show, everybody. Good work. I'm so glad to see you. I had heard many rumors. <laughs>